Yes, Cam Schooler, and I'm going to teach you, you, right there, how do you, how to uh, change your Windows startup sound on your uh, Windows computer. And so basically what you need to do is follow these instructions, and it will be awesome. You can change it to any song on your uh, music folder. Okay, so what we got to do first is we need to, you need a, a program called audacity right there you gotta get it i'll put a link in the sidebar so you need that and then once you open it up after downloading you go to project right there you hit import audio and you get any audio in your music library personally i pick snow by red hot chili peppers actually no it's by the way because i had snow um it's by the way so I'm going to select a piece of the song that I want. Hold on. I've got to find it. Standing in line to see the show tonight and there's a light on. Heavy glow. Okay, I just got to skip forward. Oh, I can't skip. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to put a marker right there. You're going to put a marker wherever you want it to start, so it's that little white line right there, and then you hit play again. You get about 10 seconds worth of audio. Okay, so right about uh, just before there, so I'm gonna click and go to there. And I'm gonna go up to edit. I'm gonna hit cut. Nope, I need to hit stop first. You gotta hit stop before you can edit anything. Edit. Now I'll go over here and hit X to remove the track from the screen. Now, you go back to edit, and then you hit paste. What? Hold on. Oh, okay, so it comes to a bigger thing. This is what it sounds like. Here's my bit of sound. Okay, so then we're going to go up here, file, export as wave right there, the first one. And then we're going to go on my computer, you're going to go to local disk C, and then you're going to go to Windows, and then you're going to go and you're going to find media. Personally, mine's right there. Now, you're going to want to go side, and Windows startup. Now you're gonna want to back up this file by like putting it on your desktop in case it messes up your computer. It's never messed up mine so far. So Windows Startup, and then hit save. You're gonna get a pop up. Do you want to replace it? Just say yes if you've already backed it up. I've already backed mine up. So now it's ready. I'm gonna hit exit. You don't need to save changes. Then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go log off. Log off. Just gotta wait for it to log off now. And once it logs off, I'll show you. It's really cool. And when it logs off, I have another song that logs for when it logs off. That song that I made up. Okay, so it's logging off and saving my settings. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna Enter my password. And hit enter and watch this. And it will keep going until the song's over. So you can use an entire song. 
but the problem is if you use an entire song you can't uh, you can't stop it unless you turn your volume off because it's part of the system and yeah you can get a microphone and hook it up to your little microphone and put it right over there and you can record through that program there's a special record button so you can record through that program and then um, from there you can have a lot of fun because so you could be like recording when you turn on your computer to say oh it's on now something like that I don't know or when you turn it off tell it make the computer tell you that it's turning off or something I don't know but yeah so I hope you have fun figuring out all these different things that you can do and it's really easy to find out. You can like ask people if you have like like nerdy people that you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so that's how you uh, change the song on your Windows computer. Okay, and you can also change any other audio file in that folder. So there's one for like Windows Notify. You can change the Notify to I don't know whatever you want. Right? Okay. Have fun. This cam's cooler. And uh, subscribe.